It's time once again for A Couple of Cold Ones with Corey and Carlisle. Mm. Every week, man, you giggle. You giggle like a little schoolgirl when I say that. Because you have this look on your face when you do it. I told you this before. I mentioned this before. It's, it's, just, it's, it's the zen of the moment, my man. You, I mean, because one thing, you're staring at me when you say it, and you just look like, it's, it's almost like you're a purring cat while, you, while you're it's, saying that. You know, it's the Barry White in me. You know, everybody's got a little Barry in them, and my Barry just looks at you and... I know. I told you. You it look like you should be a 400-pound oh, black yeah. man with a beard right now looking at me. Oh, Except that would be scary because it would make, make me think you're probably about to rape me or something. But anyway. It's, it's called bro rape. I've never heard of that before. Have you not heard it? of bro rape? Bro it, rape? Is that, bro is rape is, it, is, a th- it's a big problem right now. Is it's, that a new category of porn or something? No, no. It's, it's when your bro, you know, rapes you. It's okay, that's very rape. straightforward. The name says it all. Yeah, it's, it's pretty <laughs> now, bad. Now, is it bro as in... Hey, bro. Like, exactly. Like we, okay, I thought yeah. it meant like, like was, hey, bro. Hey, you know it would be awesome if we took our pants off? That would be awesome, man. That's oh, fine. Hey, you know, hey, roll over. Trust me, dude. This will be sweet. It's going to be awesome. Trust me. It, it's bro rape. So bro rape isn't, I don't even know why I'm talking about this, but bro, bro rape is not, it's not violent. It's more like bro, bro rape trickery. Like you just kind of get talked into doing something gradually until the next thing you know, you got to. You got a penis in your ass. You or got something? a penis in your ass. Okay, well, I'll, I'll be on the lookout then. You watch out for bro rape. Now that's that probably explains why I'm looking at you when you say that because I probably think you're gonna do bro rape, but I didn't even know the term for it. I I, I hope that's not what you think because you're not that sexy a man. It's time. You for draw the... your you draw yourself sexy enough, but you know you're not. That sexy <laughs> I'm thinking you're gonna be like it's time for another couple of cold ones with Corey and Carla. It's hey. time once again for bro rape with Corey and uh, Carla. Like afterwards, you're gonna say, hey, you know what'd be really cool if we do this with our shirts off because it's kind of hot in here <laughs> hey man i can't really hear on my mic can i come up and sit by you and talking to your mic you don't mind if i just kind of lay my penis on your lap do you so all right you know what i don't know this is this is a lot further there are enough. kids listening Corey. and that never stopped you before I, this is more talk about bro rape that i've ever wanted to do <laughs> you're fascinated by it now you're gonna go and youtube it no i'm not because i'm afraid of what will come up if i <laughs> if i do that so Let's go ahead and get into any. Anyway, how you doing? I'm doing. Uh, I'm doing pretty good. It was a. It was a nice, pleasant day. Good. Watched a couple of movies, chilled out, did some painting. You know, mm. the usual. Not the no, usual, actually. That's what now. When we about. say painting, you weren't sitting there painting pictures. You oh no, no. Why? Pictures. Yeah, no. I was. Okay. I was painting tack marines, motherfucker. I was tack painting a, so you, a squad of forty k tack marines. Painting my, the little toys you got. Okay. My blood angels. They are not toys. They are merchants <laughs> of fucking death. Is what they are. <laughs> I just say that because I like to see you get riled up when you when you describe how your funness for these figurines that you have. These motherfuckers are tough sons of bitches. I mean, really, they've got a they've got four up sa- uh, armor saves, dude. What are you gonna do? Man, I'm glad you. Uh, I don't know what the hell you're talking about, but I'm glad that you <laughs> that you you agreed to do this. I thought you'd be tired because I'm exhausted. I just got as as you know, I just got off of a tired. plane. Yeah, yeah. I wake up at like. Two in the afternoon, dude. That's I know. I'm just tired. Used to this people. is I know. this is this is the the early evening. Well, I'll be up until seven in the morning. So I, I I'm just used to everybody saying you're crazy, and I forget that you have the same schedule that yeah. I that I do. So, but yeah, uh, yeah mornings I'm, mornings are for sleeping. Yeah, no, and I will sleep tomorrow, man. I'm so exhausted. I've never. I have to say, I'm getting to know New York a whole lot better than I thought I would. I got lost Saturday night and just took a subway and. Was able to figure out where I had to go. So. Yeah, from watching the Warriors. See, the Warriors is <laughs> educational. That shit will teach you how to get from one side of town to Cody Island in two hours flat. Except I wasn't running like the Warriors. I was just kind of <laughs> drunk and stumbling from train to train. Corey, <laughs> come out and play. <laughs> It wasn't me. It was them, the Warriors. So It was the Warriors. Yeah, I love, the Warriors killed him. I, that's my favorite line in the movie for some reason. And for anybody who hasn't seen the Warriors, because I know there's a lot of kids out there, and I think they probably know about it too, but they should, you should see that movie. It's well, you know what? Movie. And there's a great director's cut out there that's really awesome. I have that at home. That uh, the, the like cuts between certain sequences are done as comic book frames. Oh, are you serious? I'm dead serious. No, it's a, it's a really cool version of the film. 
long. Oh, I got to get that, man. Dude, the, it's the, out there. The Warriors, the the Warriors, the director's cut, and it is it is a sweet version. Yeah. It is a surreal, fucked up nightmare of a movie. It was. Yeah, no, it's a it is a brilliant movie. I don't want to spoil too much about it. It just has New York gangs, and one of them is uh, one of the. You're gonna the, bring up the, the Bronx Bombers, aren't you? Uh, you know what? I'm not Ever. gonna say. I, I don't see. I don't even want to bring kids. Go watch the Warriors. I don't want to bring up anything. Yeah, if you haven't seen the Warriors, the Warriors is kind of required viewing around here. Yeah, you want to know some of our favorite movies? Because people always ask us. I can say collectively, we probably all love the Warriors. We all love the Warriors. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, it's not. It's a really good movie, but there's things about it that are just so bug fuck crazy that you're going to be, how the fuck do they love this movie? But once you get all the way through it, you're going to be, dude, that's a great fucking movie. Yeah, no, it's it's a very clever film, and you probably know the kids probably know about it because that was a Warriors video game, and you and I don't. Yeah, I don't, but it wasn't a big hit. No, it was not a big hit at all. In it fact, it was a cool it, fucking game. It, it, yeah, I won't even say the game was that cool. It was actually kind of clunky, but it was. I it dug was, it. Did you? I mean, it's because it's the Warriors. You got to kind of exactly. Like it no, I did. But as a video <laughs> game, I have to say it was a, it was a lame fighting game, man. But it 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 uh, you probably know about it. Go watch that movie. Your, your uncle uh, Carlisle and Corey are telling you go go watch the Warriors. Dude, don't call us that, dude. That's just creepy. <laughs> That's creepy to you. It's I'm, creepy oh, to well, me you know, when, when you say listen to your uncle Corey, kids. I I think of of. People showing the kids the doll and saying, where did he touch See, you? See, now that's your fucked up mind. Because when I say your Uncle Corey, I'm talking about, like, I'm the good guy that comes in. I'm your buddy. I'm going to tell you how to get along. Yeah, you life. know what? That's how it I, starts. But I, I'm not looking to go in there and pull bro rape on somebody. So. <laughs> bro rape. <laughs> I told you, you're going to be obsessed. By the end of this show, you're going to just be Googling bro rape. It's going to be awesome. I refuse to Google bro rape because the pictures, if I, if I Google something, I'm going to go to the imagery. And then the imagery <laughs> you're going to go image up, search? Yeah, image. And it's like, bring up what is an Alabama movie. hot pocket? I heard you mention that to Jamie. and that, that, <laughs> that was great. We were all having dinner, and uh, that phrase came up, the Alabama hot pocket. Yeah, the site manager came down. We're eating. <laughs> And, and he eating. had to know, so I'm like, well, Google it. And he's like, all right. He's like, oh, yep, that's pretty awful. And he still ate. That's what, that's what creeped me out. He's like, that's disgusting. And, <laughs> so, <laughs> well, what, he said it was disgusting. He's like, yep, that's pretty bad. It's not the worst thing I've ever seen, but it's pretty bad. And that made me wonder, what the fuck have you seen? <laughs> yeah, no, it's like, wow, this this dude's one of us. The so, Alabama Hot Pocket is not the worst. The Alabama Hot Pocket is about the worst thing I can imagine. I, ref- I refuse to do that. I, I've been tricked into doing some things and uh, and seeing. I I, my, I, yeah, I wasn't my, trying to trick anybody either. It came up as a joke, and he was like, "What is it?" And I'm like, "I'm not going to discuss it because we're having a very nice dinner at one of Austin's best restaurants, and we're just chowing down and having great food. I'm not about to describe what this thing is in front of and everybody. I thank you for that. And uh, but he's like, "I have to know." It's like I'm not going to say it. He's like, "All right, well." And I'm like, "Well, Google it." And he's, he pulls out his his uh, his iPhone, his iPhone and, and then it's like, <laughs> "Yep." That's pretty fucking awesome. And you see, Jamie will use any reason to use that iPhone right now. <laughs> he's he, one of those. He, yeah, he's, a, he's, he's in love lo- with his phone. He's looking for any reason. Like when he, like when the, when the waitress oh, comes over. Oh, Alabama yeah, hot pocket. Yeah, that's huh? a reason to pick out my iPhone. Yeah. Like when the waitress comes over to say, and says, what would you like for dinner? He, he would rather look on his iPhone for the menu instead of looking at the menu that's in front of him. Well, let me see what you have here. She's like, uh, I don't have our fucking day. But anyway, you, <laughs> I, I've been tricked into seeing some things on Google imagery, and my eyeballs should be poked out by now. So I would not look up this Alabama hot pocket you're talking about or whatever it is. And so, right now there are people Googling. I know. <laughs> and it was, don't do it. It's a trap. It's, I could see Admiral Akbar just sitting there shaking his head going, it's a trap. <laughs> And it's too late because they've already done it. They've already done it. They're like, oh, that is the most foul thing my young mind has ever seen. Right now, there there is a collective, ah. So let's go ahead and move on. We took a little while to get into the Speaking of Alabama Hot Pockets, let's move on to the top five. The top five. And at number five, we have. Number five. We have the Chronicles of Narnia, Prince Caspian. Prince Caspian. What can we say? Movie was kind of a disappointment. Didn't do as well as they thought it would. Hasn't it? Hit a hundred. I mean, yeah, it hasn't hit a hundred million yet. Looks yeah. like it's going. If, if it gets there, it's going to be. It's going to be a stumble. So, uh, Disney did express disappointment that it didn't do as well as the first film. So, but they will nevertheless. Have I still hold that as bad placement. They should have. It, it really should have been a winter film. Mm-hmm. It should have been that family thing for the winter. Right. This is the thing that gets me about this time of year. Is it's become such a big deal to make it the blockbuster season, and mm-hmm. blockbuster season gets earlier and earlier that. They're just slamming them. There are, you know, we, we've now gotten into the point where starting this week, 
it's two blockbusters a week. It's not one a week. It's yeah. two a week. And no, it's I, like, yeah. oh, my God, guys, there's only so much money that's going to be spent, especially this year. Yeah. This year is a rough year for this country. And it's, you know, uh, when people are spending $500 a month on gas, you know, for their SUVs, which, pardon me a moment, I go, <laughs> Oh, yeah, you dumb My scooter gets those. 66 miles to the gallon. Um but your scooter's yellow. My scooter rocks. <laughs> your scooter looks like a transformer. Your, your scooter is like a, I, I don't know a skateboard or something. With, with, oh you know, come on! With a, with a my, lot more engine admit on the back. It, admit it. My my scooter looks like a transformer. That's not a good thing though. It, it but, looks it, like a transformer, it, doesn't it? It, it? it does. It looks like it looks like Bumblebee's midget brother. Yes, it does, and it's awesome. Gas wash, yes, it is. <laughs> hey, you know what? You, hey, hey, what are you driving right now? I, I wait. I couldn't hear you. No, what are, what are you driving for, right now? I was now? reaching for it. No, I was. I told everybody I was in a car wreck. I'm gonna get my Mustang back. <laughs> That's, that Mustang is coming back one day. Yes, one of us drives a Mustang and one of us drives a a scooter. Who is the most comfortable with the size of their penis? Me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm and very you, happy you go with the size of my that. penis. I'm so happy with the size of my penis. I, it's not even funny. I might prove some bro rape on somebody. I'm so number, happy four. <laughs> <laughs> number four. Number four. Number four. Number four. Number oh, four. I just want to say something real quick. Number, number four. four. No, uh, we. I, I want to say blockbuster season. I want to see what you thought about this. I'm, I'll, I'll tell you what. I'll save it for afterwards. Save it for afterwards. Yeah, Let's get to number four. Get away it. from the bro rape. Stepping away from the bro rape. It has nothing to do with bro rape. Has to do number with, four. Has to do with ratings of movies number and blockbuster season. Number four. You, are you enjoying singing right now? <laughs> I'm really enjoying. We'll get to that after. Let's, let's yeah. knock out the top five because it's, at this point it's old news, but let's, let's just blow through it. Number four. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing new on here. And no, there is two. There new, is. There actually, there's one surprising thing on here, but number four is Iron Man. What can you say about Iron Man? Iron Man, it's awesome. That's what we can yeah. say. Move, but move that's what we've been saying for four fucking weeks. Move it on right along. Two hundred seventy six million million dollars it'll be it'll it, it's gonna it's is this the highest grossing movie this year at this point it might be so i'm not sure i'm talking about the whole year is there anything that did better than no that? no no nothing earlier this year did the 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 big film that had hopes of doing really well just blew chunks okay that was ten thousand bc that was the- well that was placed in the same spot as uh they put that specifically there in that weekend because that was the same weekend they as 300 10, bc was going to be because they put it in the same weekend as 300 and it was the same kind of thing oh, everybody man. said no it's not actually the same kind of thing no yeah fucking ostriches with dreadlocks anyway uh number three number three now this is the surprise right here the strangers it, it, it did re- very well, actually. $20 million for a movie that was seen sort of as an independent. Not it very, did 20? Yeah. Oh, that is a big surprise because they were, the studio was projecting eight. They no. were like, ah, we think we're going to do eight with this. This movie is uh, a big success story. I mean, no big push for it. No, no, they no didn't even show it to us, for Christ's sake. And actually, they did have a screening. I didn't make it to it. They I, Okay, I didn't hear about the screening. I wish I'd known, because I would have gone. Yeah, no, they had a screening, and I, did, I just did a review of it and put it up. I saw it while I was in New York, and it's, because uh, I, I just said Is I it any good? It. It's, <clears throat> I think that if you are somebody who, I'll put it this way. In the review, I said, if you like horror movies and you're very used to the convention and formula of horror movies, it's kind of dull. If you're somebody who likes, you're, you're on a date and you're, See, taking, I, and you're taking a girl there and you, you, you like scared jump, you, like the uh, jump scares and all that kind yeah. of stuff, then yeah, go see it. I'm, I, I've been trying to get a hold of the, uh, the French version. My video store keeps having it checked out and it was mm-hmm. finally in the other night and the guy's like, oh, that, them is finally in. And I, and I was like, oh, hey, great. I'll grab. Oh, well, I, I actually was going to take it home tonight. And I'm like, no, dude, you take it home. It's cool. I tell I'll you, get it later. The, no, there's, the French have done movies similar to this, not even this one. I just saw a French film uh, that had, to, I forgot the name of it. It had to do with a, 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 well, that's a, highly useful. a pregnant woman being chased by some crazy woman. Oh, oh inside. And oh. that movie, I have to agree with you, man. That movie is kind of lame. I hated that movie, dude. And, and so many people like, oh, it's genius. It's like, no, it's sleazy. It's crappy. And the characters make really stupid decisions. But this, this movie, The Strangers reminded me of that and reminded me of Funny Games. Funny Games. I never thought I'd say this, but I liked Funny Games a whole lot more. This movie has a it has a great uh, atmosphere to it, but it's it just it's kind of slow. Which is, but I guess people it goes to show you that horror movies or do well. counter programming does well. Now horror movies never do well in the summer. 
ever. Uh, when we, you remember last year, the big thing was they had uh, uh, Hostel Two and uh, what was the other film? Uh, uh, Twenty Eight Weeks Later, and both of them did like ten million dollars on a week, and those were highly anticipated sequels. And uh, both of them just crapped out during the summer. And I was like, oh, no one wants horror in the summer. I think it might have to do with the number one film. I think it might be a reaction of, oh, what's that? Oh, God, that. Well, no, we're not well, going we to see to, that. Yeah, we have but to get through number two. Number first. two is Indiana Jones. And the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Da, 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 da. Uh, already $200 million. Da, ba, da. 215 to be exact. Da, ba, da, ba. Very respectful. I mean, very, very respectful. The movie very, kicks no, ass. It no, made a shitload of money. No, it made it made a lot of money, which was and it's still going to keep making money. Well, they don't know about that. They say it might actually peter out a little short. They say it might, but it's still going to make a lot of fucking money. Well, they knew it was going to make. I think they're actually thinking that this movie would have made more. So it's it's not considered a disappointment. It's considered to be okay. It's kind of met expectations. We expect a little bit more out of it, but let's see. The, the thing is, is we'll see how long it lasts because that's the thing. Is it does have legs. People are like, oh, it it didn't. You know, it it made second this weekend, but this was barely. Well, I will tell you what, I I agree with what they're saying that this movie might peter out sooner than they expect because it's a whole blockbuster thing. There's a whole lot of movies coming out, yeah. and it's just things are just getting pushed down. And this has already been pushed down by the number one movie, which was barely, which is Sex in the City. Yeah, Sex in the City, fifty six million dollars, man. Now the thing is, is the vast majority of that was Friday night. They had a. It, this was the weird thing about this, and this is why it's it keeps getting brought up. Generally speaking. When you have a movie that comes out on Friday, it does. It has a solid number on Friday, and then it does a little better on Saturday. It usually will make uh, one to five million dollars more on a Saturday because there's more screenings that people go to. Because most people get out at five, six in the afternoon mm -hmm. and, uh, on Friday, and that's when they start going to the movies. Whereas on Saturday, they have all day, and a film generally does better by getting that day business. But here, the film did thirty percent. Less on Saturday than it did on uh, on uh, uh, Friday, but the movie's still considered a huge success. Oh yes, no, and, absolutely. And, and, I, and I tell you why because that Friday estimate, I mean the whole weekend estimate, was actually considered to be very much lower than the fifty six sure. million they got, and they were like, "Holy shit." This this movie's already hit. On Dude, one it day. was an event film. I, the, oh, yeah. Every time I looked at the estimates, I said, "You're out of your goddamn mind." Every woman in the world's going to fucking see this movie, and every gay man. <laughs> Well, some of them. Yeah, yeah no, and, and I can tell you in Chelsea, the theater was full of nothing but men. <laughs> so it's, uh, it, no, it, look, I know you hated the movie. Oh, I really. Yeah, you it. really despised the movie. Me, I liked some parts of it. It was okay. I, it's something where I just. Dude, you, you were, know. you yelled at the fucking movie. As much as you want to say, look, it wasn't that bad. You actually physically yelled at the fucking movie. Oh, no, I did. But I didn't hate it like you did. No, it was, it was some, I've, I've even said in the review, I said, hey, if you're a fan of the show, this is the movie for you. If somebody like me is just a rental. I actually did chuckle at some parts. I actually did, act, I actually did like the characters. I wouldn't ever tell anyone parts. to rent this unless they had a predilection towards even seeing it. Well, I mean, if you're a fan. and No, if you're a fan, <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you're a fan, you're going to see it anyway. It's, but nobody else is going to see it because it's based on a series. So, of course, if you're not a fan, what purpose do you really have to go and see it? Because you're going to be picking up in the middle of a storyline that you're not going to even know anything about. You can no. This this film does not. It is not a complex film. This is not the X Files movie where it's like, oh, what the fuck is this? Oh, well, you had to no. see all of season eight. No, it's very. It, it's so blatant from the beginning. I was able to understand every nuance. See, I disagree. Bit of this it's film. like you. What's the history with Mr. Big? I mean, if you go in there, you don't really they know. They explain like, it throughout the whole thing. They keep recapping and telling us how many times they broke up. And no, it was they recap that whole fucking movie. No, it's movie more than that. It. It's it's people who actually follow those storylines. They sure. follow how they dated, how they broke up. They know every detail about these characters. I, look, I I would tell you. I mean, you're going to disagree, I agree. There are a lot of movies out there. I I'm actually happy to see this movie do well. And I'll tell you why. Because, look, there's plenty of dumb blockbusters out there for men. And this man, this dumb man go see dumb men doing dumb things. This movie, yeah, there's women doing dumb shit in this movie. It's a blockbuster for women. And that's fine. Is, is, is it the best imagery of women? No, it's not. Do I, did I love it? No. But for women had that blockbuster for them. Let Women have, have plenty of blockbusters. The the thing is, is generally they're programmed in February and March. Exactly. I'm saying a summer blockbuster like this, 
F- take it. Well, man. except the problem. The question is, is what's going to happen to it next week? I mean, has everybody that's going to see it seen it, and it's going to have a huge drop off? Because that's what people so. are talking about. I mean, already you saw huge drop offs on Saturday and Sunday. What's going to happen next weekend? Is it going to go from being number one to rather than doing what what's happened with most of these blockbusters and slipping to number two or three? Is it going to slip down to no. four or five? <clears throat> no. L- let me just. It's going to sound like I'm arguing for this movie because I really loved it. I did not love it. I, I thought it was actually, as far as the movie, you know how I feel about romantic comedies a lot. I mean, this 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 was mediocre. For me, it was a very mediocre movie, but the studios, they're very happy with the numbers they have already. So a drop off from this point on, it's going to be, it's going to be. Yeah, but see, I, as far as, look, for me, this movie is Dallas. It's return. It's after Dallas. It's a a return to Mayberry. It's, it's one of those stupid made for TV movies that they just said, Hey, you know what? We could make an ass load of money putting this in theaters if we did it quick enough, which is exactly what they did. And they proved it. What, what I hate about this being so successful is we're going to see more of this. We're going to see more of these, these television. We're, I mean, when are we, you know, when, uh, Desperate Housewives is done. Are we going to see a Desperate Housewives movie? Is somebody at uh, ABC right now going, holy shit, why have the series finale of Lost be on television? We could have everyone in America go and see it in a theater. This is that, leading us down a road that, that really that might fucks happen, with me. That might happen. That might not. Because I think I would hope that people realize that there are certain trends that you just can't create. Sex in the City had a following, had a great following already. It started out on HBO okay. as it is. Now, so I don't, I, I don't, get... I don't. Know, well, hold on, I don't, I don't know if people are going to try and do that. And hey, you know something? If something good comes out of it, fine. If it, if 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 it's a trend that doesn't work, and they actually do try to do that, which I don't think they will try to do that, but they do, I, I think it'll go away quickly. I, I see where you're going, but honestly, you know how these people think. Somebody looks at it and sees the numbers and says, "Holy shit." Look at the numbers of how many people actually watched Sex in the City versus how many people watch Lost. Look I, at that I, versus how many people watch Heroes. I really, or, I think you're worried about nothing here. I'm no. What I'm doing is I'm throwing that idea out there because I'm telling you, Corey, it's coming. Nobody's nice. talking about it yet because it's the Monday. It, it's the Monday after. But trust me, the shit is coming. Now, maybe that you said it now through that idea out there, it might be. <laughs> yes, sure, because there are <laughs> studio but, mavens sitting around going, oh, that Carlisle, he's always full of brilliant I'm ideas. Gonna, I'm going to say this. I really think that you're worried about nothing. Well, I think, I think you go ahead and say I think I think they knew what they had with this movie. And now I, that I, we've got I, this yeah. recorded and it's going to be on the Internet, I can yeah. throw it back in your face when uh, when we have to see. And I, and I will happily do. I will happily take it if that's the Grey's case. Grey's Anatomy. But you know something? This is, hey, but this isn't the first time this has happened, though. And, and it was it happened with the X Files movie. Well, yeah, but the X Files movie was slightly different because the series. In had, what way? Well, the series had concluded, and they came back and decided to make a feature film. They talked about making a feature film from the get-go, and they wanted to make a series of feature films. They've actually tried to do this with a couple of series. Uh, the one that sticks in my head was they wanted to do it with Quantum Leap, but they they it well, never that, that never out. had a big a big enough audience. But well, this- that's that, but. That they talked about it where it's it, like, okay, this show's over. But the thing is, is with the X-Files, that was a show that led towards – it was episodic to begin with. It's like you, you have Mulder and Scully show up. You don't actually need to know anything about Mulder and Scully to make a good movie about them. You just have to know that they work together. You know generally what everybody knew about Mulder and Scully. And then you just have a really cool science fiction horror I, I disagree. I mean it's, it's already happening, man. They did it with The Simpsons. They did it with X-Files. They did it with well. So they did. They did it with Firefly. So this is nothing really new. That so for Sex and the City to come up, this is not creating a new trend. What's new is that it made way more money than they anticipated. Oh yeah, I mean, and because with with Simpsons movie, everybody walked out going, "Yeah, that shouldn't have been brought to." But no, Sim- Simpsons movie did well. Yeah, but everybody no. knew that going in. At the, yeah, by the I same mean, token, the, it was. But it was one of those things where everybody said, "Yeah, but we don't have a." Simpsons. I'm just saying, you're seeing television shows I'm being just, going to the screen. I don't think you have anything to worry about. Okay, I, I mean, I, if you see it done more and more, it's going to go. Hey, look, even if they do something for Desperate Housewives, I don't watch the show. But if the movie has that big enough following of people who want to go see it, you know what? I don't have to go see it. If the movie does well, big deal. What What is it hurting us? Because I'm going to have to see it. 
Because I watch fucking everything. Yeah, right? exactly. Come on, come on. We, I watch fucking and, everything. And then you know what happens? We come back and we make a review about it that everybody laughs about, and then it's it's, it's cool. It's, it serves a purpose for us one way or another. Okay, so let's move on to this rating things that you wanted to talk about. Oh. Because mm. I'm it's, tired of talking it, about Sex in the City, dude. What a I, lame I, fucking piece no, you, of shit that was. You, re, you oh really make this movie to the, to the point I where, just, to the point where movie, I, I'm dude. looking at you and it has you feeling so... Nervous about the movie industry now because Sex in the City did well. No, 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 no. I have no issues that it did. I knew it was going to do well. When I looked at the initial estimates, I knew that they were out of their minds. They were being conservative. They were hoping and had their fingers crossed, and they did well. Um, and I, in fact, in my written review that I put up on another site, I talked about how this is an event movie. It was Star Wars Episode One for girls. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I'm it just was, saying, but it it stuck with Episode One, and that they went in, and a lot of people walked out going, "Wow, that really wasn't." all that good a movie and the people that loved it are like oh come on i liked it yeah i mean i'm just saying we've seen this trend of movies sure. ever since battlestar galactica well, they actually had they actually had a battlestar galactica movie that was a made for tv movie it, that but you know what theaters. it was it, it was in theaters and no. i and, no it was it was it was limited it was released very limitedly in theaters but i can i saw it in a theater that's why <laughs> in waco they actually had the battlestar galactica movie in a theater and I saw it in a theater. Yeah, but it didn't do amazing. No, it didn't do. No, it didn't do well. I'm, I'm just saying this a is long the first trend. But keep in mind, this is a this was a blockbuster. There are sleazebag producers who think about how much blow they could buy if they could convert their film into a Hollywood. Uh, blockbuster. It's not even that much. I mean, it's a calculated business. Not that much business blow. move. Uh, well, with them, I would. I, I never estimate how much blow a, a, a Hollywood uh, it's not uh, that producer much. could do. I mean, no, it's a lot, but. I, there was a, it was a business move too, and it paid off. I'm yeah. just, it's all, yeah, anyway, so it doesn't yeah, stop me from yeah. hating the fuck out of that. Movie. Oh, I know. I got, I, God, I hate it. that movie. I, I, I feel like I'm over here like Darth Vader. Yes. Succumb to your dark side. <laughs> so, yes. Admit you like a piece of shit. Um, so this rating thing I want to talk this about. This rating thing you want to talk about. Do you think that it's PG 13 movies are, are above that people are wanting to see? Because I'm looking at, Speed Racer didn't do that well. Prince Caspian is not doing horribly, but it's considered sort of a disappointment. And both those movies were PG, yeah, rated PG. And I'm just thinking, during this time of year, holidays are really reserved. I don't know what it is. Holidays are reserved for the family movies where people go out and see a big blockbuster PG film. Yeah. But during the summer, people want to see PG or more. I mean, I'm sorry, PG-13 or more. Well... It really no, because that's not entirely true. Because PG thirteen films do really, really well in the 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 winter as well. Uh, it just it all depends on what the film is. No, PG thirteens can do well in the winter. I'm just saying, I think PG movies do better at a time that's considered family holiday times. It's it. It all depends. I think Christmas, everybody's together. They want to go see something. That's I nice. think I, I don't think that the the ratings on Caspian or Speed Racer had anything to do with uh, with how they did, because people rarely look at the rating. Uh, the people who look at the rating are the parents to double check to see if it's going in, or sometimes somebody will go, "Oh my God, they're making Die Hard as a PG thirteen movie," and then everybody will all of a sudden go, oh. "If nobody had mentioned it, people would have gone in and would have not even flinched." See, I, I don't to to a certain level, I agree and disagree. I don't know if people look at the ratings that strongly, but they can they can associate a rating with the studio. Now, if something comes out with a with, with the with the Walt Disney logo on it, with the exception of Pirates of the Caribbean, people usually think more of a PG movie. Well, that's because Disney owns like a number of different, yeah. you know, studio houses. They, it, you know, if it's if it's a PG thirteen, if it's an adult themed movie, they it, it's a touchstone picture. If it's if it's a 